Hey there, it's Pete, GCI Turf. Hope you're having a great day today. Wrapping up a long two days of work out here in the yard. But I've had a few videos come out here recently with different uh, equipment, diff showing different things in the yard. Verticutting, core aeration, mowing, testing out a couple of new mowers. And this is the last step is I'm gonna compost top dress with my earthen turf. This is a 415 SP. I had my eye on this thing for a pretty good while and my main priority and main objective was to get my athletic field equipment in order because that's what I do in my job. I've got employees that do mowing and spraying yards and stuff like that, but I do the athletic field work myself. And for me to be efficient, I had to have some specialized type equipment. So you, you've seen my big top dresser I've got. I've showed it to you a couple of times on ball field work, spreading clay and stuff like that. But uh, obviously we're gonna use it in sand work this summer on Bermuda turf. And I wanted to be able to offer some of my residential Bermuda customers the same service. And I wanted a smaller, compact, more tight version of my big top dresser. This makes sense. You know, I had the Eco Long top dresser. I sold it to a buddy of mine, and I love that machine. Love it. It works fantastically. But with my schedule and with me running a very fast paced business uh, personally, uh, I just have to have something more efficient. So this one made sense because I can stand on it and ride on it and it's self-propelled and it holds more capacity than the other top dresser I had. So you know, it just made sense and check it out. You can core aerate while you're doing it all. You know, it's got it built in right here. The thing's 48 inches wide, which is crazy. They do have an option where you can put a seed box on here. I think it holds like 200 pounds, but I did not want that because I'm gonna use this compost top dressing customer's yard, yes. Uh, but I'm more comfortable spreading the grass seed and then putting the compost over top of it or putting the compost down and spreading the grass seed. Either way works fine. When it comes to sand work, you know, I'm gonna to have to be loading this thing up. My, my goal was to have uh, two pieces of equipment on a trailer, which one's gonna be my Ventrac, my 4520N, with the new loader system because it will reach up high enough to load this thing. And with the seed box added, it added extra height in the front so I wouldn't be able to load it. And I just didn't want to go through the trouble of taking the seed box on and off. So I got the thing without the seed box. So compost, uh, you know, since day one, I've been a big fan of, you know, physically and literally putting organic material rich nutrient value in the ground itself and in this case i've core aerated and verticutted so now i've kind of exposed the, the ground a little bit and then put a bunch of little holes all in the turf so now when i compost top dress i can get some of that material down into the soil profile that's where i want it my basic rules about compost is make sure it's a super high quality one, uh, make sure it's got some nutrient value to it, and make sure it's cooked at the right temperature where it burns out all the weed seed and that kind of thing, and the compost I have meets all those requirements. I've been using this compost for quite a while now, and I absolutely love it. It's fantastic stuff. It's a super fine material, so it should spread nice and evenly and nice and clean. And I think I'm going to be able to get that in bags, like in like a 40 pound bag or a 35 pound bag or something like that. And might even put it on the website. Obviously, you're not going to buy a bunch of bags and have UPS ship it to your door and top dress your entire yard. I get that. But it will come in handy for spot seating, spot leveling, stuff like that. So I'm unsure if I'm going to put that on the website or not. I'm thinking about it. But if I do, you can be for sure it'll be the exact identical thing that you're seeing going down right here. Because you know how I roll. I don't associate my name with nothing unless I use it. And I'm definitely not going to offer it to you unless I use it. So let's go over some basic controls on this. And when you see me touching buttons and all, you know what I'm doing. Uh, here's your forward and reverse. And you steer it with this wheel. I was a little unsure at first if I was gonna like that. You know, having my forward reverse in one hand and steering with the other. 
because this is a totally and completely new feel to me, but I have to say that it is, it is incredibly comfortable and effortless, I guess would be a good word. Uh, I think some, I've heard some people say they would be kind of, uh, you know, inclined to grab it with one hand and maybe it would start jerking and jumping and you would lose control of it or whatever. Well, I kind of use the palm of my hand and use the stabilizer bar right here. So you can literally use it with one thumb and push it up with one thumb and see my fingers right here grabbing the bar and kind of holding on and gauging it gauging my speed that way and of course if i want to go full speed i can just lock in right there and then when i'm in reverse it's kind of like a zero turn mower i have this bar right here and look at there look how easy that is so that's that's uh pretty cool i mean you could literally you could drive it with a thumb you can wrap your hand here and just slide your hand up and down and pull back like that and of course you steer right here the thing is four-wheel drive and four-wheel steering, which is just absolutely insane. Here's your throttle over here, choke. It is a carbureted Honda motor, which I like. This little button right here, you flip it up, and when the machine's running and you're, you propel yourself forward, that automatically tells the uh, belt here to start turning so that it starts applying the compost. Then you have a little button here. It's kind of like a override to this switch here. So if you're moving along and you just want to throw some compost out in the spot, you just hit this button right here and it dumps it out. Here's your parking brake and that simply pulls down. And you can see right there how that thing locks into the tire. Right here's the belt and the hopper of the machine. And of course, when you're, you're spreading the compost, this belt is spinning so that's what propels it out the gate here and the gate here's the gate settings you simply pull this little tab out and you roll this around like so and you can push that back in and that's what locks your gate here's the gate right here you see how that works you'll have different settings on it out here to control the amount of material that you want to put down and of course your speed has a lot to do with that too. The slower you go, depending on where the gate's opened at, the more or less you'll put down. So you kind of have to play around with it and get your calibration rate on it dialed in. And this is pretty neat. You can see this brush right here. Well, this brush spins as well. And that's kind of what helps fluff it out and make it go down nice and smooth. And one of my favorite features is there's a 48 inch core aerator right there and that's pretty nice. You can plug and put the material down at the same time. And it's got a cup holder. Forgot to show you that. You can see the turning radius is pretty dang tight. That's pretty sweet right there, not going to lie. And we come right here, flip this little switch on, and then as we go forward, you can see the belt begin to move as well. So I got my tractor up there, my John Deere, and uh, I just got done verticutting not too long ago, so I'm going to use it to help me get the compost loaded, and we'll get started.
So hands down, one of the coolest machines I've ever been on in my entire life. If you're talking about cool factor, you can check off every single box that's positive in that category. This joker right here, I can't get over how nimble it is. The, uh, the four wheel steering is just over the top. I mean, you can just whip around on a dime, weave in and out of areas. It is crazy how efficient this machine is. Now, one thing that was not efficient was me loading the machine. I've got my John Deere tractor over there with the forks on it. The only way I could get this compost that I really like was in bulk sacks. You know, it's a big old white bag and they packed the bag. I wanted a dump truck load of it so I could just scoop it up with a bucket and dump it in there, but they don't offer it like that. So I had to get the bulk sacks and I would unload the bulk sack from my truck because it's on a pallet using the pallet forks on my tractor, set it in the driveway. The bulk sack has these four loops. There's a loop on each corner and I would run the forks through those loops. Then I would pick the bulk sack up. I'd have to jump out of the tractor, grab the pallet out of the way, jump back in the tractor and then lift the bulk sack up high enough to clear the top dresser. Then I would jump out of the tractor, grab my pocket knife, and I would just cut about half of the bag open on the bulk sack. And you know, if the compost is wet, and it's stuck and giving me a fit like the one I'm filming right here showing you. But if it was dry, it actually came out pretty easily. And it would hold roughly 75% of the bulk sack. And once I filled up my top dresser, I'd back off, lower the bulk sack down to the ground, apply the material, then come back, pick the bulk sack back up and put the rest of it in. And yes, Brian, I'm going to get me a mulch mate. I give you my word, I gotta save my money so I can buy one. And a mulch mate, if you don't know what I'm talking about, is this big old dump trailer that's got this thing on the back of it that loads it. It's absolutely incredible. I've never seen anything like it in my life. And this dump trailer also has a platform that I can ride that thing on. So you could literally load the machine, go by the compost place, fill up the dump trailer, have a backpack blower with you to clean up, and one man, one machine, one trailer, you could compost top dress or sand top dress yards all day long and you wouldn't break a sweat and you could get quite a bit of work done because the thing puts the compost out as fast as you can get it loaded. That's how efficient that's, I call it a system. When I, when I look at this machine, I see a straight up system because it is absolutely absurd how efficient it is. So I don't have enough compost left to do my yard and the sun's going down. So I'm just gonna run over my yard with it right quick. My fescue over here, I'd planned on aerating and uh, top dressing my compost, but I just don't have enough material. So I'm just gonna run over and aerate it. Same things apply to that as it does to my bluegrass like I was talking about earlier. Never had any issues. The yard's perfectly healthy. And so I'm just going to aerate it, open the ground up a little bit, help a little air and water get down in the root zone a little bit easier, a little bit faster. So my big weekend's over. I got started Friday at noon-ish and I worked till dark Friday night and it is now the next day, 7.15 on Saturday. So I'm going to clean up, you know, blow all my stuff off take some of it back to the shop, go in and get some supper, chill out, and get ready to get my worship on tomorrow. Tomorrow's Easter Sunday, and hallelujah to the Lamb on the throne, hallelujah to King Jesus, because he's alive. Check you later.